I'm Megan Nesbeth, and I'm finishing up my MBA at the University of Michigan. So the brief that we were given was about helping the city of Somerville think about how residents can be involved in urban prototyping and making change around urban infrastructure. So it's a very research heavy brief and we spent the time learning about the different types of people who are involved within making change around infrastructure and how we might leverage a greater, more inclusive swath of those people. Our first prototype was the idea of these buttons, IoT, Internet of Things connected buttons that um, could be given to community organizers as a means of helping them collect feedback around their community. So we imagined a community organizer might uh, affix the buttons to uh, some kind of prompt uh, that again is context specific, location specific, and residents passing by could vote on the question by pushing these buttons. Um, which would trigger uh, the, the device to speak to them, something like, why do you feel this way? Or tell me more about how you feel. And then we could actually capture their voice data. And how do you take something that's on the back end a pretty sophisticated analytical technology, something that can um, you know, use natural language processing to, to come through voice recordings and extract key insights and, and aggregate those to make it easy for the city to use the data. Um, so sophisticated on the back end, but also on the front end in terms of the interface that residents would actually be interacting with, we wanted to try to keep it sort of as analog feeling as possible so that it wouldn't deter people who weren't necessarily from context in which they were had experience interacting with touch screens or, um, or maybe trusted data that would be collected on a, on a device that felt more technologically sophisticated we had a big moment of understanding around the fact that it's not just going from every citizen walking around on the street or every resident walking around on the street to and getting them to talk to the city, but it's more this process where you have some people who are just normal people living in a neighborhood, and then you have community organizers who've either decided to do this professionally, taken it on themselves, make it their number one hobby, and then the city, and there's a whole process of how you work through each of those different levels, and that was a key moment that shifted how we started to design.